everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for photographers like you and me. Well, today, Teresa is joining me for another episode and we are going to answer the question, why should you use a long lens like this in the studio? This is a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Sometimes people use uh, 300 millimeter lenses. Some people use whatever, but a lot of photographers, myself included, use long lenses in the studio instead of something like a 24 to 70. Why is that? Why should you do that? Is it important? I think, yes, it is. For three reasons, we have three C's that you can remember. Number one, comfort. Number two, compression. And number three, composition. So to understand each of these things better, we're going to go back here, set up a really simple lighting setup, take some photos and explain it all to you. Let's do that right now. First, let's talk about compression. What is that? Well, compression is the opposite of distortion. Those two things are created based on how close or far away you are from a subject. Usually if you have a wide angle lens, you're really close, so that causes distortion. And if you're far away, use a long lens that causes compression. I have a video all about that stuff. And so I want you to check that out because a lot of people say, no, it's a wide angle lens and a long lens. Really, it's about the distance from the subject that causes all of that stuff to happen. So first, let's talk about compression and distortion and why it's bad for uh, our subjects. And also how that ties into the second thing, comfort. So we don't want to get really close to our model because especially if you've never met a subject before, if you're shooting something, a family portrait or something, you don't want to be really close. So watch what happens. I'm going to exaggerate things like way over exaggerate everything. So I have a 16 millimeter lens on my camera right now. So a 16 to 35 millimeter zoom lens. And I want to show you how not to do this. So at 16 millimeters, I want to try to get a vertical portrait, a headshot of Teresa. And I want to try to fill the frame as much as possible. So right now, shooting from here, I can see everything, even the set and everything. So to get a nice tight headshot, I have to come right here. So let me see if I can even focus this close. There we go. All right. So here is what we have. Let me put this up on screen. So this is the shot I just got of Teresa. And so you can see we've already violated two of the things that we talked about. So it's not comfortable because I'm so close. I almost going to break your nose. And it's so darn close. And then the second thing is we have this distortion. It makes Teresa look really crazy. In fact, if I try to get just a normal horizontal headshot at 16 millimeters, I'll just sort of try to come in and do this. And it's just, you can see not only Teresa, but you can see the background, you can see the studio, you can see all of this stuff showing up. It's just no good at all. Even if I go to uh, 35 millimeters, so I'm gonna zoom in as much as possible. And to get a nice portrait, I have to come really, really close, really close. And so doing that, I still have a lot of distortion. So when we show you this shot here, you can see that Teresa looks wonky. That is not what we want. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to change my lens. So I'm going to go from this 1635 to 35 millimeter zoom lens. I'm going to take that off my camera and I'm going to go to my trusty 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8 lens. This is what I use all the time when I'm in the studio. And this will give us everything we want. So this is a 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8 L lens. I have it on a tripod on purpose. So let's review those three C's again. So the first one, comfort, check it out. Now we are six, seven, eight feet, something like that from Teresa. So we don't have to get really close. We have our social distance in place. Everything is good. So that is eliminated. The second thing that we want to do is have compression. We want things to look nice and natural. So let me show you what we get. I'm going to do again, a nice vertical headshot from a distance. I'm going to zoom into 200 millimeters. We'll take that shot. Now let me show you these shots side by side here in Lightroom. So one, to, well, let's show you the first and the end so you can see those. So take a look at these two shots here. The first one exaggeratedly bad. The second one is natural. So that second shot is the compression that we want at the distance we want. So we have compression 
and we have comfort. What about composition? What is that all about? Well, if you're shooting really fast in the studio, doing some different portraits, maybe shooting for a commercial client, catalog work, family portraits, you want to be able to get in and get out and show wide and show close and give your client lots of options. And you get that with a long zoom lens. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I've got my lens on my camera. I have it set up for a portrait shot. And so what I want to do here is do three different shots. So the first one, we want to have a nice long shot where we have Teresa's arms and this beautiful dress. Bam. Now let's show a little bit of detail of that dress. So we're going to get a little bit closer, show the waist. Bam. We've got that. Now let's get a nice tight head shot and show just the top of the dress and a nice portrait of Teresa. So now what we have, I'll go in here to Lightroom and show you. Now we have three shots. One, two, three. We have three different compositional options. We have that first beautiful shot of the dress. We have a detail shot and then we have a nice portrait of Teresa. And with that long lens, we have accomplished everything that we want. We have our three C's. We have our comfort because we have the nice distance between Teresa and the camera. We're keeping our comfort. We have our composition because we can zoom in and out and get all of those options. And we have the compression that makes things look natural and normal. And that is why you use a long lens in the studio. Using a long lens in the studio is my choice for better portraits. And I think it should be your choice as well. And I also want to say thank you for choosing to be in another episode of Exploring Photography with me. Teresa is always fantastic. Thanks so much for being here. You can see more of Teresa's work by checking out her Instagram. There's a link in the description of this video to all of her goodness. So make sure you check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's totally free. And I want to make sure you turn on the bell because we have new uploads every single day by an entire team of creatives showing you all kinds of awesome stuff. You don't want to miss out. So click on the bell so you get notifications. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you again next time.